number four, these two teams are certainly very familiar with one another. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that's off target as it hits a body. Sends the pass down low. Quick feed to D. Rips it from the blue line. And that's blocked. Moves it to D. Delayed penalty coming up here. Nice zone entry from the right side. Here's a shot. There's the whistle, and here's the call. In this game, you're always trying to buy time for your teammates, but sometimes if you hold on a little bit too long, you're going to get the interference call. Russia sent in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Scoreless game right now, James, but an opportunity on the power play. You have to find a way to convert. Move that puck quickly and open up lanes. Trying to clear. The Avs will play it from the defensive zone. Quick shot. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. And they win the face off and set up to go on the attack. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. Great pass from off the right side. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Well, when you cross check, it is black and it is white. And I'm telling you right now, that is a call all day long. The official saw it. It is an undisciplined penalty. The Nationals will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. With a scoreless game, James, an opportunity to go up by one. They'll want to gain possession right off the draw and set the tempo. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. Puck clears the zone. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Shot. Oh, right with the man advantage, and they make it click. That's exactly how the coach would have drawn it up, James. I mean, you move the puck around the outside to disrupt the coverage. You open up the middle of the ice, and then you get a glorious shot chance, and you capitalize. Excellent work. Nizzy Kemp's got the opening goal in this game of chess on the ice. Let's see how things change now, Cheryl. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it unfolds. You get the first goal over halfway through the first period, and you want to kind of find a way to continue that pace and dictate it further into the game. Moltsup's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Let's see what the officials say. Well, the coach isn't going to be happy with this penalty. You have a one-goal lead, and now you find yourself back on your heels, and the penalty kill has to come out and do a job. The Avs send their man advantage unit out once more. Power plays are a funny thing, especially when you're down by one, James. You have to act as if you are the hunter, and you have to possess that puck and attack. I get when you're losing, James, that you want to get something going. You want to spark your team. You have the puck on your stick, but sometimes you can try and do too much, and I think that's a product of that as he loses the puck. Tough spot to be in. You need momentum, and you give it back by going on the PK when you're trailing by one. Well, things open up for both sides a little bit here with some four-on-four -four action. Four on four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. Cuts into the paint. Oh, he saved it. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Score! And we are New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Ah, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. Now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift, it's critical. Oh, 
James. Goalies get really angry about these ones. You have a defensive zone turnover. You could be out of your zone. Instead, the goalie's cut out of position and the puck's in the back of your net. Here in the later stages of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Jurgenshaw's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Kashnikov's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Here's a shot. Big stop just as time expires in the period. Well, here's the horn ending period number one, but this one is far from over. Lots more action to go. You can tell we're in for a good one because almost every fan is in their seats here as we are still tied with the second getting underway. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? Russia's got to take a different approach in this second period. They need to hold on to the puck. They were getting rid of it way too fast, not making smart decisions, and the pass execution was not there. The Nationals will now be undermanned with a cross-checking penalty. off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. Power plays more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Russia's got the puck against the half wall. Makes the save and putting out the fire in front. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. There's the whistle, and here's the call. You can play aggressive, but you got to walk the edge. This is an undisciplined penalty, and it's going to be a two-minute minor. Batten down the hatches. Things should open up here with a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. Well, four-on-four four is similar to three-on-three. Three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two-on-ones all over. Russia's got it in their own zone. Here's a shot. Big save. Great reach by Sokolov. Scoops up the puck here. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Well, that's a tough penalty to take at the end of a period, and it's all about the PK unit now. They've got to kill the time off, get to the intermission where they can reset. Time to get a refresh, and we'll be back for period number three. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. Rush has won the opening draw, and their power play rolls on. Levels them against the wall. Petition's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Anytime you lose position on your opponent, this can happen. He gets the sticks out in the feet of his opponent, and guess what? He gets the tripping call. Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four-on-four -four action. Not typically that we see four-on-four -four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. They clear the zone. Rush has got the puck along the wall. Here he is in front. Nice save. 
from point blank range. Gives him a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. Let's see what the official says here. The abs will serve two for slashing. Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. Nizukin's got the puck along the wall. Durgenshav's exploring his options behind the net. Picks up the puck. Makes the save. Working to shake the pressure from the defensive zone. And that one's blocked. They keep it on the attack. It's in the back of the net, and it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs, and you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. Having another look at it on the replay, we can see that he got a piece of it, but just not enough, and it squeaks through to the net. Nissen Kemp's gone up by one here in period number three. Uh, you know that they recognize that they've got the lead in the third period, so they have to be defensively responsible, but you can't just sit back and protect. You gotta be aggressive when you get the moment and take advantage of it. And not much on that one. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Penalty coming up as the ref did not like that. And there's another penalty call against the home team. These fans are frustrated. Shell, I think these calls are legit. I just think that the fans are wondering, what about the other side here? Well, yeah, they got to be expecting to get one soon here, as it is one side. And it's so hard for a team to get into the game when there's no flow because you keep grading yourself to the box. Missing Kent's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, the power play has been great tonight, and this is when you want to be on the ice. You're just chomping on the bit to get back out there. There are many days when you don't feel that way, so you got to really enjoy these ones. Rush is going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. He tips it. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good. Around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. The Avs have scratched and clawed their way to making this a tie game here at a critical point in the third. That's critical timing, James. The bench just erupts with that equalizer. And listen, when you score a goal like this, often you put your opponent on their heels because they knew they had the game within reach. Now it's a much different story. Makes the save. Russia stand possession. And he loses control here. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Kill the swallow if you're the power play unit, but if you're on the PK, you recognize and anticipate it extremely well. This is why we call it the power kill. Reading the opportunity and then burying it for a shorty. The Avs jump in front by a one-goal lead and a critical stage in this one, too, here, Cheryl. Well, yeah, if they want to close this game out, it's all about managing the clock and managing the puck on your stick. You want to make sure you take care of business, which means you got to own the puck and not turn it over in vulnerable spots. Feeds the puck to the football. The Nationals pick up steam and are on the attack. Scores! And they convert the power. Well, they drew the penalty because they were competing and they were urgent on the puck, James. And then the same approach came on the power play where they knew how to hound it and retrieve it. And guess what? They're rewarded for their efforts. 
There's a reason why the power play moves the puck around the perimeter and creates motion. They want to pull the PK outside of the middle of the ice. And when they do, they hit the bumper position perfectly and they're able to hammer it home. Nissen Kemp's made this anybody's hockey game now. We are all tied just the way we love it, Cheryl. Yeah, everyone loves it in the building. I mean, the energy that it's created and the buzz. You can see everyone on the bench. They were up cheering. And this is the momentum switch in the game. This face-off is critical. You want possession. You want to continue to drive the pace and put them on their heels. Here's a shot. Oh, so what a stop. Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foul. Tonight. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Makes the glove stop. and it solves nothing. Overtime coming up right after this. The moment of truth has arrived. Overtime is set to go. Oh, everybody's up for this one now. hit on the play. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. And he comes up big again. Lee's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in. He's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time his team starts working in front of him. Cutting to the slot. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Moves it in front. There's still a huge mountain to climb here, Cheryl, but they have shown that they have not run over in this series yet. I well, know, I mean, that was a huge win, and there's a lot of room between them and uh, their opponent right now, but if they can kick and claw their way back to 3-2, you know that their opponent will feel it. And the fans are getting loud once again to salute the Warriors here, Cheryl. Well, yeah, this is a lot of fun. I mean, this is the connection that you see between a fan base and their team, and it's a tradition, right? Come out on the ice, and you want to salute them and say thank you for providing energy throughout the game. Gotta love playoff time. Everything matters, every moment, every play. And we will see you at the next game from all of us here at EA Sports. Cheers.